typically with ODM, a customer will want to set up a rules-based system of some kind, and they probably already have a system. It may be COBOL, so it could be a really old system. They don't have a web interface for this you know, new system that they want to run using rules, or it could be that they do have a system that's up and running, and maybe it's running in Java, in which case there's probably an ear file, so it's a web application, where they're inside that ear file, you would see probably multiple or just a single WAR file. Now, you can see kind of how this works if you look at the chapter 11, exploring the ear file from this book here, which is we've seen before. Notice this diagram here, so the ear file can contain these modules, which contain those WAR files. In any case, when you are use when you're in one of these scenarios, usually in either of these scenarios here, we need to create, of course, the ZOM. But really the only way to get an idea of what your ZOM looks like is to, in most cases, dig out or look into the Java or into the COBOL code or whatever code base you're already running. And you generate or pull out the ZOM from that. And, and this, uh, what I mean by this, and we're going to see this in a few minutes, is uh, we're talking at a Java level here. So really digging into the code, or again, COBOL, to create that ZOM. Okay, in order to do this piece, create that to pull out the ZOM, you generally need to bring in IBM services. So they are going to come in and help you to extract out the ZOM. And then once that is completed, and actually during part of this, you will be generating the rules. So you'll be, of course, creating a bomb that will have the rules really in, in it and that will be exposed to business users through the decision center which is web interface to all these rules but the the point at this here is that IBM services generally speaking will need to be involved and so and there will be plenty of coding involved to create your ZOM and to create the bomb